Hi, we have already seen that charged particles exert forces on each other. But what is the nature of the electric force? That's exactly what we are going to study now. You know that if I have plus and plus charge, two positive charges, they are going to repel each other. And what will happen if I have two negative charges? They are also going to repel each other. So positive and positive repels, negative and negative repels. We say that like charges repel each other. What if I have a positive and negative charge? Well, then you know that they are going to attract. And so we say unlike charges attract. Now notice something interesting. This force is F1. That force is F1. They are in opposite direction, but they have the same magnitude. Now these two charges could have been different. This could have been 2 coulomb and that could have been 7 coulomb. It doesn't matter. The forces are equal and opposite. You need that, right? Because Newton's third law says, object A exerts a force on object B. Object B must exert the same amount of force in opposite direction on object A. So these two forces have to be equal and opposite. Similarly, these two forces are equal and opposite. Even the attractive forces, they are in opposite direction, they are equal in magnitude. So always we can say that charges exert equal and opposite forces on each other. Otherwise, Newton's third law would be violated. So this is a very, very important point to keep in mind. The second important point to keep in mind is that these electric forces are along the line joining these two charges. Okay, along this line. So notice this force is like that. This force is like this. They are along the line joining these two charges. It is not like this or like this. It is along this line. Here also, it is along the line joining these two charges. Here we are talking only about point charges. Okay, So we are going to restrict ourselves right now to just particles, point charges. Okay, Electric force also depends on the amount of charge. That's what you will expect, right? The bigger the charges, suppose I double this charge and double that charge, I definitely expect that the force will be larger. So bigger charges means you are going to talk about larger electric forces. Okay, So electric force depends on the amount of charge. Does it depend on anything else? Hmm, what else can it depend on? Ah, what about distance? Like gravitational force. Does electric force also depend on the distance? Yes, electric force does depend on the distance. It decreases with distance. Let us do an experiment to understand that. I am now going to show you that electric force decreases with increasing distance by using these three straws. First, let us take this pink straw. I am going to charge it using the paper. So the straw is going to become negatively charged. Okay. So let me place this straw on this bottle. Then I am going to charge this orange straw. And I am also going to charge this blue straw. So all three of them are negatively charged. You can see that the blue straw is repelling the pink straw. The same way the orange straw is also repelling the pink straw. Now what I am going to do is I am going to bring both the straws. You can see that the pink straw is not moving. Why? Because both are repelling with equal force. So that means the net force on the pink straw is zero. But suppose I move the blue straw away, then the force decreases. Watch again. Right now they are exerting equal forces on the pink straw. But if I move the blue straw away, you can see that it moves towards the blue straw. And similarly, if I move the orange straw away, it will move towards the orange straw. Why? So because when they move the blue straw away, you can see that the pink is moving towards the blue. Not because the blue straw is attracting, but because its repulsion force has become less. And so the net force is now in the direction of the blue straw. In our experiment, we saw that all the straws, all the three straws had the same type of charge, negative charge. And because they had the same type of charge, they were repelling each other. So the orange straw exerted a force like this, F1 on the pink straw. The blue straw also exerted a force F1 on the pink straw, but in the opposite direction. What was the net force on the pink straw? Well, the net force was zero. 
right these two forces cancelled out that's why the pink straw just remained there stationary then what did i do i took this blue straw and i moved it away the orange straw was at the same place i just moved the blue straw away so the force exerted by the orange straw did not change so this force was still f1 what about the blue straw remember the blue straw is negatively charged the pink straw is negatively charged and the orange straw is also negatively charged so this is a repulsive force so did the blue straw exert an attractive force on the pink straw no it was still repelling except it was a small repulsive force f2 earlier the blue straw was exerting a large repulsive force f1 now because i moved it away the force became smaller still repulsive smaller f2 this is f1 this is f2 so the net force is in this direction right net force is towards the blue straw that's why the pink straw moves towards the blue straw so if you notice when the distance is small between these two charges right the distance is small the force is large when the distance becomes large the force becomes small so we can then say that electric force decreases when the distance between charges increases but how exactly does it decrease suppose i ask you that question is it true that electric force is inversely proportional to the distance well that is not the only option right it can be inversely proportional to the distance square it can be inversely proportional to the distance cube right there are many different ways in which the electric force can decrease with the distance this is a very simple experiment this does not tell us what is the way in which the force decreases coulomb did the exact same experiment with a little more sophistication where he was able to measure the force at various distances and so then he found quantitatively how the force decreases with distance 